It is indeed my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you not only to this beautiful venue, but fall has finally arrived in the Roanoke Valley. And we have gathered here with family and with friends and in the presence of God for the uniting in marriage of Robert Catapano Jr. and Laurie Caroline Naff. Most of you know that I'm Laurie's twin sister. And growing up with a twin, you quickly learn to share. Laurie and I shared a car, a cell phone, a bedroom, the list goes on. We did not share boyfriends though. Well, until she started dating Robbie. He understood that we were a package deal and I honestly think he preferred it that way. No matter how far away we were from each other, how many months we went without seeing each other, <laughs> or how many obstacles we had to overcome, we always knew that this day would come. Well, here we are now in this beautiful day. You know our love will not fade away. <laughs> love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. For the last decade, I not only looked up to your relationship, but I depended on it. I got to watch you navigate the ins and outs of dating while falling so in love that you both realized there was no better match in this world than each other. So I have tied the knot today and I have tied it tight. But this is, this, this is the beginning. Your family, your friends, this community, they're here for you if you need us. I can't help but wonder what this new adventure has for us. I've loved you since the moment I met you and forever grateful that the circumstances of life brought me to you. As we stand here today in front of those that love and support us, I'm so happy to finally be able to call myself <laughs> your wife. <laughs> And despite the long distance effort made for so many years, you two never lost sight of your passion for and commitment to the Grateful Dead. Good evening, everyone. My name is Joe, but you can call me the guy who taught this young lad everything he knows. Um, and since he was able to convince this amazing, wonderful woman to be his bride, I really think I deserve a round of applause. <laughs> I remember when I spoke to my brother for the first time after your guys' first date, and I asked him, hey, you know, is there going to be a second one? And his answer was a uh, very simple and powerful, hell yeah, she's awesome. Lori had won my brother's approval, but I would not be so easily swayed. But when the day came when we met for the first time, Lori rolled up with a jar of moonshine and some homegrown ground beef, and holding tears back in my eyes, I thought, yeah, she's the one. The 
most important adventure you undertook led you to James Madison University. And the rest is history. Cheers to the Catapanas, I will end with what my grandma Nat would say if she were here. Let the good times roll! Silly question to ask. Would you like to kiss this beautiful woman? If you don't, I will. You may kiss your bride. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah!